My friends, it is a great day for Brother Lamaget as his first born son, Terrible Carling, is dead. Paving the way for the mighty daughter that is Cafe Carling, the genius, the beautiful, the Amazonian, the lizard lover. One of those isn't very relevant. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide which one that is. He is dead. My son has died in my dungeons. I pray that he finds peace in the afterlife and that God will forgive me for my crimes. Wow. We imprisoned him until he died. Now we've got to do is hope his brother goes the same way. Uh, can I torture him? No, not yet. <laughs> That's okay. And then, she's, she's what, second in line now? Uh, she's got to be right. Hang on. Voila. She is. That's all I want in my life. All I want is her to take over. Somebody capable of really driving the dagger home. Speaking of which... Only a few years, of course, until we can actually get a hook on King Aubrey of France and actually push all of our claims and everything else and tidy this bloody realm up at long last because, holy shit, it is a goddamn mess. Oh, um, uh, I can't really afford that fella. Shit, is that the first one we've gone for, though, in Flanders? Oh, no, we've already got a claim on... Oh, no, that one... What were we? Oh, we're probably going to climb on that one. Got it. Um, I mean, if we take the whole climb on Flanders, it will save us more money in the long term. That whole thing is Flanders, right? Yes, it is. Wow. That's pretty large. Um, I feel like we should probably head south then to... Uh, how many provinces are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yikes. Okay. Um, let's start probably getting on that and hope we get the same outcome. Hope that he gets a claim on the whole duchy instead. Another granddaughter. Crap. Terrible rubbish. Um... I can't remember how bad our first naming scheme went. What did we end up doing with that? Because we've got a bit weird this time with the, with the character, obviously, not following history at all, and in fact going a little bit evil. I'm going to call you rather than Marguerite. We're going to go the opposite route. Uh, what, what are like, uh, breads that might kill you? That's the naming scheme for this series. Because Jute Lobaguette, he's a bread that will kill you, okay? I think... Uh, one of the more suspicious breads is, and it also fits our naming scheme, a brioche. It's a bread, but it's sweet. It's going to kill you with diabetes. I mean, bread will probably anyway, because it's all, it, it's just all, it, it's, it's bread. It's, it's not good for you. Don't, it's carbohydrates. That's the word I could not think of. Oh! My lover Helvis has revealed that I'm seeing them in secret with the truth spreading like wildfire. Our passion may not be as soon as we'd liked. She's also pergonant. Is she the witch? Helvis was a witch, right? She's thrown in prison by our liege. Oh my god, he must have thrown her in prison for witchcraftery. Oh god, I lost a level of devotion. But, okay, this is what happened when I was setting up. We did gain the level of fame. We're up to illustrious. What does that mean? Well, it means we're illustrious, first and foremost. Secondly, it means that we can craft a legacy sword. We can commission our dynasty a mighty weapon. Let's do it. The years of glory have finally paid off some of the best blacksmiths. It is time to forge a sword of whose stories will be told for centuries. A sword to cut our enemies in two. Do it. The process of forging is a long one. It demands the best materials and artisans. The more gold you invest, the better quality the sword will be. Uh, <laughs> um, go on then. Uh, give me the best sword possible. I will bankrupt this entire kingdom if I have to. Well, I know we're only a dupe, but I'll bankrupt France too. Go for it. 300 gold up the shitter straight away. After some work, the blacksmith arrives. Your investment paid off. A sort of good quality was forged. Oh. Just good quality? And we get to name it. Oh. Big fan of that. Okay. With the weapon in your hands, it's time to give it a proper name. A name that will be remembered in enemy. A name that will strike the fear in your enemies. A name that will be the pride of your ancestors and descendants. Thorn Diligence, Twilight Song, or Malevolent Terror. Wow. And we can, call, we can call it whatever we want, but Malevolent Fucking Terror? What a great name. Let me see it. There it is. Malevolent Terror. The good sword. It's a shame that it's just a good sword. Oh. If I spent all that gold on it too, we're going to be in debt for centuries. Oh my god, and there he is. The Witch Child. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to Google what's French for witch. Unfortunately, we didn't really cover that much in GCSE French. Uh, Google Translate. Okay, and then uh, English 2. Uh, in English 2. Oh my god, Google Translate, you are terrible. English 2 French. Sorcier? What? That was the person who cooked the, cooked, the, cooked the sauces in the last episode, was it not? It's about like that. Uh, 
I will legitimize him. No, I won't. No, I won't. Because if I legitimize him, that's another kid I have to kill off. No, I cannot dishonor the family by legitimizing a bastard. Nor can I push back the inheritance once again of Cafe. Till death do us part. Oh my god. Marguerite died. To be honest, that's probably good. She died before she saw my disgrace. At least the memories remain. That's what the game's been bugging us about for ages, by the way. The empty council position is because she was unable to sit on the council because she was injured. Let's find ourselves somebody who is mighty and can get me out of debt. Ingletrude. Oh, God, really? Minus 200. She's unlanded. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Fuck it. There we go. Boom. Right, Ingletrude. Look after the realm. Let's go full on manage. Oh, well, manage domain. Yeah, that was what I was going to say. Look at that. 11.1 gold per month just from her. 264 gold from the Pope. Thank you, Pope. You've, you've put a big dent in my sword fund. <laughs> I will I will only spend this gold on the good of the faith, I promise you. Meanwhile, I'm going to torture the sun with that sword that you just funded. Uh, how long am going to wait? Oh, December. I'm going to wait to the end of the year to torch my son and heir. Peasants are not happy. I'm bringing them dry for this and they are really not happy at all. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Bring it. Oh, hang on. Can I raise my troops first? Yeah, now bring it. There you go. Boom. Rally the troops. Nice. Kill them all. Kill every last peasant. Seize their belongings and put it in the sword fund. 1,600 of them. And they've got boats. Oh, they, they took a boat out to uh, this uh, the coast of Zealand. And they came back to Bruges. That's not how that, that's not how that works. <laughs> oh, oh, what, a, what a tactical play. Fucking peasants, huh? This is why they don't deserve the money. Start on pissing boats. Ah, Arnul has died. Remember, we uh, diddled his wife in vengeance. Well, it wasn't even in vengeance. We diddled his wife as a warning, which is, um, fucked. <laughs> and here we are. Torturer. What does that do? Uh, I assume intrigue bonuses and whatnot. Prowess plus four. Actually, no intrigue bonuses. Prowess plus four. 50% dread gain. 25% hostile skin resistance and 10% levy size. Wow. That's very good, actually. Holy shit. King is 17. So now I can say to the king, uh, I would very much like to fabricate a hook on you so that I can declare war against Flanders and Hainel and Cambrai and Champagne and wherever else I've picked up bloody claims for. Half of France at this point, if you don't mind. Well, bear in mind, France is very little. Bar barely any of it left. I need, to, I need to definitely tidy this up. In order to fully understand the value of your weapon, it's time to train with it. Understand its weight and dimensions. Trust me, we've had enough training with our weapon given all the witches. Oh, you mean the sword that we forged? Let's try then. Greetings, Duke Lobbegat of Valois. Thank you for your swift response. I'm looking forward to our correspondence. Please, I implore you. Pick a subject. Duke Garrett of Flanders. Uh, or Gerrit of Flanders. Uh, my friend, I definitely into sword practice. Look at this man. Blade master, skilled tactician. Do it. Oh, good work. We've got cooperative stonemasons in Cambridge. Wow, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Go on then. What have you got? You've greatly misjudged me if you think I care about sword fighting. How fucking dare you? Oh, yeah, sorry. My bad. Oh, no. I mean, a daughter's fine. God, is, are you sure that's our daughter? She's terrible. Wow. Really? I'm not even going to name her. She doesn't deserve a name. It's just crap. I'm just going to call her crap. That's way more of an insult. She doesn't even get part of the naming scheme. She's really just god awful. Queen Aubrey's mother, Queen Marie, has been unusually forthcoming. Is she a witch? <laughs> Even knowing that I might not be in, have entirely pure intentions for Aubrey, she's more than willing to answer my questions. Does she have any particular weak spots I should know about? Why does she want to destroy her son like this? Maybe she knows we're what's best for the realm. Wow, we suddenly, suddenly just uh, like evolved their Pokemon style. What the hell was that? Oh! Flagellant or Contrite? We can't, we can't go for Contrite. We have to go flagellant. Oh, he's not going to survive it, though, surely? He's already wounded. He's been wounded for fucking years. Um, I can't risk flagellant. I think it'll kill him too soon. I must be strong and resist these impulses. And then just, just, just feast. Just feast it away, pal. We haven't got any gold. How can we feast it away, you fool? Um, it's fine. Just hold down the fort for a little while. You'll be fine. Oh, God. Go on then. My warriors will be ready to fight Jerusalem. Who should we put in charge? We could, uh... Oh my god, if we could put Sorcier, that would be pretty fucking cool, huh? That would be fantastic. Uh, put, put a, a, a witch-born 
And, I mean, Lobaget's got to contribute some evil to that as well. Child is, as the Crusader King for Jerusalem. That would be pretty cool. Let's go for, um... Court of Shadows. Digging for dirt finds. Secrets progress. Oh, yeah, that could be pretty good. Seeing as that's basically what we're trying to do with, uh... France right now. Get a hook on him. Can we make a bastard... Oh, we can't make a bastard child. Okay. Um... Melisinda Carling, our uh, frightening sister. Cafe is, of course, already in line. Nerd? Queen of Jerusalem? I think I kind of like it, yeah. You are now known as the warmongering giant. I've literally not fought a single war in my life. Duke Lubbergett, the warmongering giant of Valois. I guess they mean in a, in a kind of... um. Uh, metaphorical sense, maybe, that he is warmongering, as in he's he's very um, adversarial, likes to likes to murder and, and argue with people and and uh, get his own way. I guess. Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna sleep with the king's wife. Done. Ah, excellent. Uh, afterwards, our Agrafena falls to the mattress with a thump, her breath ragged and eyes half closed. Languriously, I wipe the sweat of her chest with gentle fingers. Merely a moment later, Agrafena pushes my hand away with an apologetic snarl. It's merely, nearly morning, I must leave. Can you stay a little longer, please? She becomes our lover, or she thinks I'm clingy. Uh. Ayy, we've done it. Brilliant. Well, that's um, not really helped in the grand scheme of things. But uh, I mean, the, the not so grand scheme of things either. But it is quite funny. Bra brother Lubbergett, what, what have we done to you? <laughs> what have I done? Oh, no. Perga Nance. Confront her about the child. Okay, let's hope that the king... Is that their firstborn as well? Oh my god, our child's about to be in line to the... So hang on, what happens if? What happens if? Because if we get rid of our other son here, if she has a son, Capet thinks it's his, Capet were to die, kid inherits, we uncover the kid's heritage as our kid. We could then legitimize the kid and play as the kid? I don't think it'll work, but I'll give it a go. Ah, uh, secret stays hidden. Yeah. Until the pieces are in place. Maybe this was all Labaget's grand scheme. Would it not be wonderful if King Aubrey owed me, not out of fear, but out of gratitude? If I were, for example, to save him from bandits while he was out traveling, indeed, vicious bandits like the men currently waiting outside the castle gate, I would charge him with my guards at the last moment, driving them off and leaving Aubrey in a life debt to me. Simple, yet oh so convincing. 30 more gold, just as I'm about to get out of debt. Yeah, pull me right back in. We can't declare war anyway, even now that we've got the hook, because we're still... Horribly in debt. We can encrust our weapon with jewels. Uh, sure. What does that do for us? Uh, I have no idea. Monthly martial lifestyle experience. Is that it? Well, that's nice. I'm glad it didn't cost me anything. <laughs> and they've... Oh my god. He's got Philippe Capet as well. This is so good. A stealth child. Placed within line to the throne of France. And only if you were to die. Now kill him. No, let me declare war first, then kill him. This is so good. Oh, tax refund from the Pope. What a guy. Um, have a have a hunt. We're no longer overwhelmed. Okay, that's I I didn't want to risk the feast if we didn't need it, because otherwise we'll get obese and die, because you know how well, this works. Use a hook. We can do it. We can do it. To the whole of Flanders in one fell swoop, because we've got to come on the duchy. Do it. If the Holy War begins, we lose it. 23 days. Oh, no. You're not giving me much of a chance there, game. Go on, then. Uh, nearest market should have a heart. Yep, fine. And there's the vault. Oh, the war carries on. Okay, that's fine. I thought it would end inconclusively. Right, go. I think it's just we can't join the war for Jerusalem quite yet, can we? That's all right. I'd rather be fighting this one anyway. I'd rather expand my kingdom than... Uh, I, again, I would love to put a witch child on the throne of... Um, Jerusalem, I think that'd be great, but unfortunately we can't do that. We can't apparently elect bastards for whatever reason. I guess this is something to do with the church, right? I was hypothetical. I know it's... You don't have to leave a comment. Ah, uh, I can imprison Cafe Carling. I've never heard... No. Rainbow has had an affair with my daughter. 
Are you in prison, Cafe Carling? No, Malison lies. Lose a level of devotion. I lose a level of devotion to the faith and gain a level of devotion to my perfect daughter. Yes. Good. Malice and lies, I say. Malice and lies. Everybody knows. Well, well, I did it for the round. Ah, we've got his son hostage. That's good. Can I torture him? <laughs> Asking the important questions. Uh, Alphonse Vlanderen Bruges. Uh, get fucking... Oh, I can't torture him. I can torture my own son instead. If I can't to torture someone else's son, I'll torture my own. Boom. And, uh, boom. We don't... Remember, we've got the perk, which means we don't lose, uh... Piety or anything else. Oh, this guy's a deviant. Thank you. Had to be done. She gains 120 critical stress there. 15% chance of becoming a lunatic. That's quite significant. My own son recently tortured. 53 stress because they're brave. Oh, interesting. Maybe he will pass our trials where his brother failed. And war's over? Nice. There we go. Boom. Double duke. Look at that. Now then. King of France were to die. Our bastard son takes France. Then, can we uncover a plot? Can we, can we reveal the secret and just say, yeah, he's my son? I don't know what would happen then. Would uh, I mean, we'll take a look. Hey, we might get all of France in a, in a clever play for once, rather than just the claim throne scheme, which is a little bit too easy. This has worked out quite well. If it works, I don't know if it's even possible. Oh, my daughter. My God, I thought that was our lover. Turns out it's just our daughter, which is, um, ugh, whatever. Who cares? It's because it's so far down the line of succession. And here we go. 95-95. Aubrey is dead. King Philippe, our son, is now our liege and king of France. All we have to do is 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 reveal, right? How do, how do we do it? How do we do it? How do we do it? Uh, can I just expose my own secret? Uh... King Philippe is your legitimate child. Expose. Disputed heritage. He's actually done it. I have let it be known that King Philippe is in truth my child. Uh, it means I've also confessed my indiscretions with Agrafena, but the truth must be known. The repercussions for Philippe could be dire a life of uncertain. This is cool. We've actually done something great here. King Aubrey's doing one child. There's nothing good to do to dispel the shadow of doubt. The secret is out. Can I legitimize him? Is there a way to do it? Uh. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I don't know what we do at this point then, huh? Does he now count as our kid? No, he doesn't. He just counts as a... He just has disputed heritage. Okay, so he doesn't actually count as a member of our dynasty or anything. Interesting. Is there any way I can I can turn this into our favor? I don't believe so. Can we offer him guardianship? Will not accept. Why? Based on Lutton's foreign court, rank difference, intimidated by you. Damn. I was hoping there was something we could do there to make him our house, but that's okay. It makes a lot of sense, you know. One random duke declares, actually, the king is my son. And what, then, then uh, uh, he gets to inherit the realm? That's obviously not how that's going to work. Uh, that's kind of cool, though, that we have pulled that off. Ooh. A strange mystic appears in your court. He promises to enhance your sword by coating it on a deadly poison from time to time, making it even deadlier. But he said, I'll only do it for you and will not pass his secret onto your heir. What harm would a little poison do? Oh, has that changed anything? We've just got a poison sword now. Um, does that say anything? Weapon condition, good. I have no idea. Dark insight prowess, confidence, generous liege. I have no idea. I assume if we ever get into a duel, we'll find out. Oh, all that planning and then the selfish little shit just died from being sickly. Rubbish. That was, no, he wasn't my son. I'm <laughs> only kidding. Just to, just joking. Just memeing. I suppose we could go and get the Crusader trait. Go on then. I think they probably need the help from the looks of it. They're not doing a bloody great job, are they? Uh, how are we doing? Oh, it's okay, to be fair. They're doing all right. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Our Crusade's bugs still. Oh, there we are. Ten. It's finally calculated. Uh, they've actually started doing something. And we've lost immediately. Wow. That was like the... Bread of mine, that said 0%. Or, or we were first, specifically, for a long time. Shit. Well, that's a shame. Just I decided to come and help out. Hello. Decided to make you Princess Stephanie of France your vassal. Okay. Who? Oh, thank you. 
All right, I'll take it. That's fine by me. Maybe not go. May, maybe not Jerusalem this time of year. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not the Vatican. <laughs> maybe a slightly safer destination, given everything that's uh, given everything that's just happened over there. Again, sympathy for heathens or disdain for heathens. I think we know the truth here. He still is, is you know, a, a religious man in his heart. It's just he's got a very different... God damn, look at him. We have fucked him up this time. Oh, he's gone. He is dead. Died in our dungeons. He held out for a bloody long time. And now, Cafe is up next. Cafe, what's your firstborn daughter like? Genius? Comely, robust, flamboyant, trista. A downgrade in every reasonable sense. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Duke Lavaguette of Valois Soul has finally been cast to hell at 62 years of age. He died from his wounds. Known to be an exceptional strategist, he spent many days examining the fields and drilling his witches. Sorry, troops. Duchess Cafe ascends to the throne. Beautiful beyond words. Uh, yeah. Her appearance will have foreign dignities groveling at her feet. Continue as Duchess Cafe. Wow. I make my ancestors proud. I inherited malevolent terror. Very nice. Uh, do you want to get coronated? Nope, because it doesn't really seem to work. Uh, but I guess we'll give it a go. No less than the Pope is fit to crown me. They're going to want 500 gold. And I'm going to say, fucking not a chance. Um, 50, 50 gold. Well, a little respect, but it'll save you coin. Yes, sir. Done. Finally, we begin. Uh, my sister. <gasps> Partition. You wouldn't. We've got a claim on it. I'll just take it back in a second. It's fine. We'll beat him once. We'll beat him again. Oh, we're getting a weak hook on the king at the feast. And he's made a spy master of France. Oh, what a fool. Uh, thank you, my vassals. And we are now coronated. Uh, oh, we actually got the trait this time, did we? No, we didn't. It never seems to work. I was Jews. It adds the wrong trait. <laughs> uh, Henry has a point. Where's our food? Uh... Why does it make me owe the Jews? I don't want to owe... What? All right. Well, we've done it now. Uh, I guess if we hit that button, then we lose the trait and gain some crazy bonuses for expelling them. It's it's a little bit strange. Very, very suspicious. Oh, my God. We're constraining the bloodline, of course. Genius, beautiful Amazonian in our first character. There you go. The blood mother again and the strong blood. Very nice. It's obviously not going to kick him for a couple of generations now, but never mind. Right, what has she started with? Torture her like her father before her. Very good. However, I think I prefer Skullduggery. I think I want Digging for Dirt. We need to make sure we can fabricate hooks on the king as much as possible. I'm thinking with her. What do you think? Like, meritocracy? Meritocracy and then go like, uh, well-focused. Just build up a bunch of gold. Declare war on the king. Take France. And it shouldn't be that difficult to actually get France, seeing as it's a dump. First things first, Flanders I'll take back if you don't mind. Um, we need a hook, but I believe, yes, it says hook available because, of course, we got them from our feast. Oh, what is she, is she losing the realm? No, no, no. Stop that right now. Liberate it from a bloody upstart vassal that's apparently trying to take it instead. Get in there. Chances are even. Oh, yeah, you know what? You're actually not wrong. Um, Go that way, then. Avoid some of the attrition. Shit. Okay. Um, can we swap the commander out? Because you're a bit crap. That's the best we've got. Us? How about now? Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm not willing to risk it, to be honest. But what else can I do here? Um, a grand total of fuck all, actually. Uh, we can't host. We, we can't borrow alone, even though now will be an opportune time. Because when we got coronated, it thought that I borrowed a loan then. Uh, so I got the negatives with none of the positives. That, of course, being a fat stack. Kill him. They're, they're retreating, which is interesting. Okay, we got him. Fine. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought then. We'll take over the siege of, of, of Bruges and just try and tidy things up as quickly as possible, if you don't mind. Please be fast. Please be fast. Oh, God. Don't let them... Don't let that vassal take the round, for God's sake. Shit. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Get out. Kill him. Kill him dead. Nice, that'll do it. Okay, that should stop them doing any significant sieging decently fast anyway. Hello? Oh, Count Williams came claimed for the Kingdom of France. It's not a war against us then. Good shit. Wow. I saw that for a second. I thought we were in a lot of trouble. They were in significant trouble. Nice, there we go. Okay. The realm is 
reformed. Unfortunately, France is not. <laughs> it's such a fucking... Wait, Aquitaine still exists? It's a single county? Minus 10,000 gold in debt. What the hell are you doing, my friend? How are you minus 10,000 gold in debt? This is just mad. I mean, the HRE to some extent has also fallen apart pretty significantly. All, all of the Italian lands are just gone. They've got... Well, okay, fine. They've got some of, some of Italy. They're kind of central Italy. This is a complete fucking mess. You're my heir. You. You. You, you are my heir. My god, if we're ever going to disinherit a character, that might be... That might be it. Greetings, my impressive liege. Robert Vlanden Bruges is dear to me. Will you let him go and return for 50 gold? Uh, yes. Yes, I will. That's an easy one. All right, that'll do it. Truth is relative. Digging for dirt. Now, let's go back to you and constantly be fabricating hooks. I think we've actually already... Oh, no. We haven't got one on him. We can just ask for a pardon. Can we? Uh, okay. Oh, we can ask for a pardon, but the reason I was able to actually do it before was because we had that hook. Might be worth doing that rather than declaring war again. I want to get these, to be honest. I, st I still want to go for these because there's no reason why the HRE wouldn't just gun for them at some point anyway. Uh, sunset Invasion. Dozens of exotic ships have arrived in Munster, spewing out hordes of ululating warriors in weird armor, sporting feathers and bone. These invaders from beyond the sunset, sunset worship hellish demon gods, sacrificing the populations of entire towns on altars erected on top of a pyramid-shaped wooden edifices. They cut their victims' hearts out, carefully flay them, and let their devil priests wear the skins for many days. Though their language and motivations remain a mystery to our scholars, from the violence we can interpret an immeasurable hunger for our land for land our land uh and there he is the uh the nahuatl tlaloc uh aztec ruler good good monster good how many troops you got three thousand that's not terrible then. Not as bad as I thought. So, we're waiting on the final few bits of experience here to come in with stewardship. Then we can get meritocracy. Claim thrown against our liege. Grab France. You know, just grab France, how it is. Uh, oh, we've become a witch. Yep, fine, fuck it. Why not? Our father did. Then I've arranged a few diplomatic marriages because, of course, we can't just take France in our current form. So, I've spoken with the lovely people in Croatia and Hungary and arranged some marriages there between our children. That is not perfect, but Croatia, 3,200 men. Hungary, 2,800 men. It might scare France. I mean, already, I mean, 2,396 dudes versus 2,900. We already have an advantage. If I spend a little bit of money on mercenaries or a little bit of money on our um, mana arms, we're, we're probably capable of winning it anyway, to be honest. In his own personal domain, is so bloody small. For some reason, he's up doing diplomacy in Sweden right now. But his own personal domain is so small that the war itself wouldn't take too long either. But to get Croatia and Hungary also backing us up, I think this is a very, very safe and easy victory. All we've got to do now is just wait a few more months for that to tick over. More Aztecs. Hello. Oh, Jesus. Not more of them. With that, meritocracy. There we go. Right. Claim throne. Uh, that should be easy to pull off for our character. So, uh, how do I do that again? Uh, how do I? <laughs> I don't remember how to do it. Um, oh my god, it says zero, and then you click it, and it's like a complete mess. Uh, claim thrown against liege. Uh, maybe I'm insane. Okay, oh, it's because we're already fabricating a hostile scheme. Okay, hostile scheme and all that, right, okay. Uh, let's try that again. Claim thrown. 90%. Really? I was expecting it to be a little higher. I won't lie. Oh, God. They're massing. Hello. So you're like the dominant Aztec invader now, then. Governor of Tonel Quizayan. Oh, shit. They've got a chunk of Ireland. They've grabbed all of Brittany in one war. Oh, God. You, I... I we're, we're getting to the point where we can finally overcome all these hurdles. You know, we've grabbed a couple of duchies. We're strong enough now to actually face France. We've got diplomatic alliances because we're a double duke. And now the fucking Aztecs have turned up and they're going to ruin everything. <laughs> well, let's see how far they get. 
Regardless of success or failure, we gain 72 stress because we are humble. 5% chance of fabrications are discovered. Did we get it? Oh, we failed. My claim on the Kingdom of France has failed to convince anyone. 90%? No one believes that I'm descended from the ancient ruler Charles the Hammer, but at least King... Hang on, but we are. Charles the Hammer. We... Are we not? Charles Martel was a Frankish statesman, military leader, as Duke and Prince of the Franks and Mayor of the Palace. At the end of his reign, Charles divided France in between his sons, Carloman and Pepin, the latter of the first king of the Carolingian dynasty. Ah, <sighs> Charles's grandson, uh, Charlemagne, extending the Frankish France. We are literally... I'm, I'm angry. Whatever. Overwhelmed by stress. Yeah, you're fucking goddamn right. <laughs> Oh, no. Get off my screen, for God's sake. Now the game is... It's turned it on us. We're like, actually, we're the right for King Franz. No. You are not who you think you are. Mind blown. What a... What a... What a counter from the king. Long story short, I was about to record the next episode for this series, and it's fucked. Uh, everything's broken. I can't save it. If I try and save it, the game crashes. I've loaded back into a save, and... All of the traits have gone completely fucked up. We've got characters with duplicate traits. We've got characters with no traits. On the plus side, the Scandinavians have put on clothes now, which is something. Um, but everything else, though, is very, very not okay. Um, and again, if it auto-saves or it, it saves normally, it just crashes, uh, which is a bit disappointing. So... I could fix this, you know, I really could sit here and I could, I could play back up to the same point and try and add the same characters or whatever, at which point we'd basically be playing a whole different save. Or I call it a day, um, with, with this particular playthrough, which I think is where I'm leaning towards right now. I don't know what the fuck has caused this. Obviously someone's updated their mod without correctly, um, dealing with the traits or maybe they've added new traits, taken traits, but whatever has caused it, I have no idea, but it has broken i mean it's it's over more or less so what i'm gonna do is we'll just go back to ck2 um i can't deny that ck3 is definitely more fun to play because of the lack of randomness and the nicer ui and everything but i've spoken to some developers uh of, of ck2 mods and i've got a, a kind of early uh access to a mod that's about to update relatively soon so i will do a video uh, or a series on that one instead that way there'll be some fresh content in ck2 I'm, I'm really disappointed by this. And I, look, I wanted to add in all the mods to make it more interesting rather than just regular old CK3 again. And I've been rewarded by everything fucking breaking. Ah. <sighs> Never mind. All right, whatever. Um, yeah, we'll come back to CK3, of course, in the future when, when it gets some more big mods behind it um, and and some DLC and whatever else. We'll, we'll pick it back up then. But for the time being, more than happy to go back to CK2. Maybe we could just do a series like one of the one or the other. That'd be pretty good. Flip between CK2 and CK3. As the mods for CK3 come out, it gives us something to look at without trying to stretch it super thin. So I'll leave it up to you guys to decide anyway. Thank you, of course, to... The executive producer tier Patreons for supporting the channel and allowing me to make five edited videos every day. <laughs> Despite the fact that uh, my spine and my face are horribly broken. Uh, yeah, here we are. Trucking along. I haven't had any sleep either. My god. I've been awake for like 22 hours? That's not bad. Thank you to Ice Wolf, I Stab Cows, Poseidon C and German Hammer, Siala. Jack, Black Sheep, Goatfather, Oliver, Skaz, Dramnia, Slowking1710, Tremere, Regent, Cat, Other Guy 39 Corrupt Racer, and of course everybody else at the Executive Producer Tiers over on Patreon for making this series and the channel possible in the first place. A thank you as well is also extended to Thanks for the Loan, Bojo, Sam Haruni, Flom, Mr. Awesome, Lanath, Alex Schultz, Lilac, Atreus Sen, Lady Cerulean, and Blue Chaos. Thank you guys for your support over at Patreon as well. See you guys all tomorrow. For I'm trying to do these every day. Um, it, 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 it's a little bit of a stretch, I'll be honest. Um, but the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can move on to Crusader Kings 2, which everyone is so desperate to see, despite the fact that no one bloody watched the last time I played Crusader Kings 2. That's not true, obviously. There was quite a few thousand people. But not as many people as I expected. And that's... The music's ended. I'll leave it there. Thanks. Bye.